In this lesson discussing three-phase motors, we will talk briefly about the different types of motors you find and controls used for these type of motors. Three-phase motors are one of the most efficient type motors you find. If we look at this, we're going to see if we can zoom in to see the nameplate a little bit better. And we see that this is a dual voltage. It can be wired for 230 volts or 460. It's uh, have a, um, a service factor, F, the SF, rated at uh, 1.15, which meaning that it could run up to 15% above is rated. Its RPMs is 860. It's one horse. And you got a lot of information here about like 40 uh, degrees Celsius, which is the temperature of the motor ambient around it that you could run up to before it become unsafe, the, the type of bearings, ball bearings, but this is a commercial type motor. And to operate this motor we need special type of controls for it also. And some of the controls you need is to have, um, you see, a contactor. This is one style of contactor and but more particularly we call this a motor starter because it has a contact at the top and it has the motor protection part at the bottom which uses heaters or other type of uh, devices, newer ones use electronic circuitry to, uh, to take out the, um, the controls just in case if it's pulling too high of amperage but the old ones use electric heaters. Here's another style, you can actually see the heaters a lot better. You can see that this little electric coil in each leg will heat up when the current is high and will um, generate heat and there's a bimetal uh, switch below it which will trip and open the controls to de-energize the contactor. So there's two main parts is the, the contactor portion which is the very top of it, this portion right here and the bottom portion would be this here. There's a reset switch too, where my finger is on right here. I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see a little bit better. That's a reset switch, so if it did trip, you can reset the motor by pressing that in and the motor will restart. Another newer motors, what they're using to control it, what we call a phase monitor. A phase monitor is a device or not really a phase monitor, but it's a frequency drive that takes the, the phase of three phase and it would change the hertz of the motor to, um, to operate the motor at different speeds, which is very great because you can save a lot of efficiency on the motor just by um, controlling the speed and reducing it the, uh, the amount of work the motor is doing based on the load. The load of the system if it's light, the motor could turn slower to move less air or do less work. And if the load is heavy, it could speed up to maximum speed to give the maximum amount of work. So these are different type of controllers you will find in the field for HVAC systems. And like I said, these phase monitors, they are really practical these days. They make them very small, so you find them even for smaller uh, size circulating pumps or blowers to be able to do work compared to the old days when it was only very large motors they controlled. But they still have some need some type of protection. So fuses or motor starters like this to control the operation of the motor.